Hello YouTube, MS Legend here and I'm back again in the video. So in this video I'll be predicting Manchester United's lineup against Anderlecht. The match is on Thursday in the Europa League and it's the second leg. So the first leg ended 1-1 which is obviously very disappointing. But after that we had Chelsea and we absolutely thrashed Chelsea 2-0. It was a brilliant performance by Ander Herrera especially um, by Rashford. But the whole team performance as a whole, the team spirit, the energy that they had was absolutely incredible and Chelsea could have matches in any department on, on the pitch and it was just a fantastic all day for Manchester United and the Manchester United fans um, so on the back of that we got Anderlecht at home second leg 1-1 is the first result and I expect Manchester United to go all out with the strongest team they can line up and uh, that's what I'm going to do is predict a very strong lineup apart from the goalkeeper I think Romero will start in goal but we, we should be able to win 3 or 4-0 easily um, Anderlecht were very very poor in the first leg and uh, you know it's the story of our season we had many chances but we didn't finish we should have we should have beat them e comfortably 3 or 4-0 um, but it doesn't matter because you know we got them at home with the fans behind us we should be able to win so let's get straight into the team so Sergio Romero in goal now obviously Luke Shaw got a rest in the you know weekend against Chelsea so I expect Luke Shaw to start at left back and uh, Valencia to start right back, although Valencia did absolutely amazing, he worked his ass off against Chelsea, he will be tired, but you know, we have to start our strongest lineup. Obviously, the two centre backs we've got are Rojo and Eric Bailly, and at the moment, they're playing incredibly well together, so I hope that continues. Um, so, Eric Bailly here, so that's a very, very strong back, you know, back four slash five. Romero is obviously a good goalkeeper, he's very consistent for us. Um, so yep, that's that's you know, that's you can't argue with that back four to be honest. And now, obviously, in midfield, I think what Mourinho will do is start Pogba. Um, we don't, we don't need to control this game in terms of um, keep possession in you know, like co comfortable possession. That's why I don't think he'll start Carrick. We just need to go all out and attack, and that's why he'll just I think he'll start attacking midfielders. So Pogba, Herrera, and uh, Henrik Mikatarian come. So there you go, Henry Mkhitaryan in the camp position. Now I think Anthony Martial was rested, but he wasn't on the bench either. So I think he was rested for this match in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and take a risk here and start Anthony Martial. I'm not sure whether he will or not. But Martial is a shadow of a player he was last season. He can't even beat a man anymore. I mean, I don't know what's happened to him. You know, things that happened off the pitch with his uh, girlfriend slash wife. You know, it's just long. It's just... Uh, it's, all of these things add up to a person and obviously Martial is a person and it affects him, he's a human um, but he needs to find his form, he needs to find his best Marsh his best self very very quickly, if he doesn't then Mourinho will get rid of him and I, I will have no problem in that because if Martial can't produce just like Memphis you know they got so much potential but they couldn't produce at Manchester United then we have to let them go, we've got no other option to carry, carry them at Manchester United so I'm going to start Anthony Martial left mid and uh, hopefully he has a very very good game because we need Martial to bring his best up. And we need him chipping in goals and assists for us, for the team together to score more goals as a whole. Now, I don't know about right mid position because um, Lingard and Rashford both played very, very good against Chelsea. Lingard was taken off. I think he was a bit of an injury. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, Rashford actually in that right mid position. Um, I, think he will, I think Mourinho will go with Rashford and Martial. And then obviously Zlatan Ibrahimovic was rested against Chelsea as well for this game in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and start Zlatan Ibrahimovic up front. And this team should be easily, you know, it should easily beat Anderlecht um, 2 or 3-0. I'm going to say 3-0 to Manchester United. I don't think we're going to concede. I think Zlatan Ibrahimovic is probably going to get a brace. And then Martial or Rashford with Mkhitaryan or something like that. You know, the, the extra goal. So 3-0 to Manchester United. 4-1 in aggregate. A very, very good day. Uh, you know, good night. Old Trafford, I'm predicting very good a uh, European League round, and uh, we'll, I think we'll progress without you know, we'll progress comfortably. Anderlecht didn't really show anything at their own home, so I don't expect them to show anything at Old Trafford with the fans behind us. And this team is a very strong team, we should be able to win. So, 3 0 to Manchester United. Let me know what you think about this team in the comments below. Let me know your team in the comments below. It's been MEF's Religion. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys later.